Okay. Before we start, you need to make sure you've got the GLSL plugin. So if you go to Tools Plugins, um, it should be in Available Plugins, and it should say GS, uh, GLSL Editor. I've already installed it, so if you just click that in your Available Plugins and download that, you might need to restart, Jamie, I'm not sure. <clears throat> and after you've done that, um, go to the Project Assets folder. I'm just going to put all of mine into the Material Definitions um, folder. Like all my Vertex, Fragment and Material Definitions. I'm just going to put it all into one for ease of this tutorial. But you should probably put your Vertex and Fragment shaders into your Shaders folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder in my map defs folder. I'm going to call this one simple color. Click enter. And then going to go to new. And I'll go to other to show you how it's done. And then to open GL. We won't deal with geometry shaders. So I'm not sure Jamie properly even supports them yet. Um, okay, we'll add a vertex shader. I think the convention is just to name your material vertex and fragment shaders all the same name. So I'm going to call that simple color. Add a new. I'm going to add a fragment shader. Call that simple color. Then I need to add the material definition, the other material, the material definition. Call that simple color. Okay, and so this is what the uh, JMunk engine gives you by default. You get um, material parameters, the technique, world parameters. You don't get a defines. So Always add that. I'll do that later. I don't think I really need it for this one. Okay, and then in the vertex shader, you get this ft transform function, which really shouldn't be there because I don't think it works most of the time. It's basically a shortcut for a g, g underscore. I'm just going to click control space. It's going to be the world view projection matrix. This is what's going to convert the uh, vertices from object space to screen space. The final one you really need. I'm going to times that by the in position. Get rid of this. And the problem is that uh, in position is a vector 3. And you need it in a vector 4. Because that's what you can't times... Because this matrix is a 4 times 4 matrix, you can't times 4 by 4 by 3 by 3, it doesn't work. So we'll just have the 1 here. And, but we need to tell Jamie to give us the imposition, it's not just going to give it, it's not, it doesn't pass everything unless you tell it to. So that's a attribute, attribute vec3 imposition. We also need to tell it to give us the world view projection matrix. You need to set it in the material definition, which it already gives it to us here. So you have to add a little g underscore, which I've done there. But this is a uniform, and it's a uniform because it means it's only passed to this whole uh, vertex shader once. If it was an attribute, it would keep being passed, and it's not really what you want because um, it wouldn't be very efficient. Okay, and don't worry about all these underlines. The uh, syntax highlighter doesn't really work that well. And simple color, it's given us a gray for us. Ooh, it's done everything for us. Yeah, simple color. Oh. Want to make sure to reference the vertex and fragment shader properly, so I'll put this in the simple color folder. 
Let's get simple color vertex shading. Simple color. Simple color. It's accepting a color, but it doesn't have to use it. And if we go back to my main project, I don't really need a light. A lot of my uh, tutorials aren't going to use lights. The last one will, but most of them not. So I don't need this. Some color. Some color. I could set this, but I'm not going to. Because I don't need to, because it won't work. Um, I'm hoping I get a grey sphere. No, that's what I found common. It's not common. What am I doing? Not this. Common. I didn't. Oh. God, what am I doing? Shift of six. Yes! Now look, there's my grey gray sphere! The first shader ever! And your first as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is. We always have a blue. We get rid of this blue. Screen. Nope. Oh. Okay, but this is what? Okay, it's not all capitalized. This isn't going to make it green. Nope. Because we didn't tell it to make it green. We didn't really tell it anything. So what I need to do? Is, okay, I've set color there. I need to specify that it's a uniform. So. Color and on the street color. Or do I need to set it to back vector four? I'm not sure. We'll see if this works. And then I'm gonna say if uh, pound if def uh, I've got to set the fines here. Remember, is it all capitalized? I'm just going to say color. And then I've got to do this in the same caps as that one. So I'll use color. Let me just check. Okay, no, it's so like. Uh, just the first one's capitalized. I need to have a colon in between these. Define color, so let's say if color is defined, I'm going to end it. I'm going to say, okay, it's first of all defined in vec for here, color should work. Then if color is defined, I'm going to say gl frag color equals. Don't even need that. Else, make it grey. I think that's what I need. Don't get past me. Let's try that. Nope. And color. Maybe I needed to make that back four. Try that. Nope. Well, okay, work. What can I Didn't work, but it opened the least. Let's define color. So if I can make some color. Define color. Color. Da -da -da. Color green. Hmm. Hmm. I can find out what's going on. See if that worked. 
Okay, that works. It must be this define then. It doesn't work. Me not know why I don't like it. Why you know like? Find on to observe. Need to make sure I'm not spazzing out. Need to find something. Do something. Oh, this isn't helping me at all. Defines us in the technique. So right. Yeah. I'm not sure you can have a vector for it, but I'm try to follow. No, I don't think that's going to change anyway. Nope. What is going on? You have the M underscore. You're passing in something from. Let me change your application. So VEC4 effectively. Such a retard. Of course it's just going to be grey afterwards. Because that's going to get called and then that's going to get called. So if defined colour. Else. No, this is not going to work at all. Forget how you do this. Where's the L's? Come on, there's L's. Well, that is right. So I have with me. Success! Yes, yes, yes. Now that is sweet. So, so you didn't want some shit. There you go. That's how you debug a shader really badly. Okay, sweet. Next one is good.